The National Electronics Museum, located in Linthicum, Maryland, displays the history of the United States defense electronics. The museum houses exhibits containing assortments of telegraphs, radios, radars and satellites. Located near the Baltimore-Washington International Airport and Rail Station, the museum displays hands-on electronics. The library serves as a research center open to the public. In addition, an amateur radio station is broadcast live from the museum each week. Kenham slash Weger includes both antique and updated communication equipment. The National Electronics Museum was created by Westinghouse employees. Robert L. Dwight, who worked for the Westinghouse Defense and Electronics Systems Center located in Baltimore, Maryland, jump-started the current collection in 1973 by conducting a family day to display his colleagues' work while involving their families. Titled Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow, the exhibit showed examples of past and present Westinghouse work to represent the company's progress through the eras. Dwight then decided to pursue more radar systems and other electronics for viewing. His first mission, taken on with the help of Jack Sun, a former U.S. Air Force officer and Westinghouse employee, was to acquire the Bomark missile radar from the Department of Defense. This missile housed the first airborne pulse Doppler radar, and slash DPN-53. However, in order to gain access to the radar they had to be classified as a non-profit museum. After gaining advice and paperwork from Westinghouse lawyer, Butch Gregory, they founded the National Electronics Museum in 1980. Finances and storage space were handled by Westinghouse, and in 1983 a 190 square meters portion of space was devoted to the museum at the airport square 3. Then, in 1986 the space was extended to 370 square meters. Formerly run by volunteers, the museum hired its first professional employee in 1989 and subsequently relocated to Friendship Square in 1992. In 1996, Northrop Grumman bought Westinghouse and continued support for museum efforts. The museum closed its doors temporarily when it underwent construction in 1999 and reopened with over 2,000 square meters of space. This space included a conference room, event hall, gallery, and a climate-controlled warehouse. The museum offers education programs such as YES and the annual Robot Fest, as well as the Robert L. Dwight Scholarship. Donations and grants are accepted from foundations and engineering societies. Board members include former Westinghouse employees and Northrop Grumman Associates. Other public foundations such as an Arundel County Public Schools, Camagee Institute, American Alliance of Museums, the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab, Allied Signal, and Hertzbach and Company support the museum. Over 30 volunteers donate over 5,000 hours of their time each year. An APQ-120 radar and test bench the National Electronics Museum is organized into 12 related exhibit galleries. Thanks for watching.